Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about how to read the data from AWS S3 external stage in Snowflake if the data is encrypted. Okay. So already in my previous video, I have discussed several techniques to encrypt the data while storing it in S3. That can be uh, data at rest if you want to encrypt or data at transit or when the data is moving that time how to encrypt that. There are different techniques for both of them. Like for data at rest there is server side encryption and client side encryption right. So if you want to know all this detailed explanation then you can go through the link given in the description box. Today in this particular video I am going to cover server side encrypted file how to read in Snowflake okay. So just a quick recap. How we do server side encryption basically that is here this is our client that can be on premise device or that can be an EC2 instance whatever from there client is sending some file and before it is written in S3 data center hard disk what will happen the service provider that is AWS S3 itself will taking care of the responsibility of encryption okay that is first it will encrypt the file and then it will write in the disk. And now again, suppose the client is asking to get back the files, what it will do? The service provider only will decrypt the file and will send back to client. Okay. And in the middle stage, what it is showing the in stage two, it is showing that when the data is flowing from uh, client to the S3 data center, then in the data movement timing, it is also encrypted. So basically, S3 take care of this responsibility, right? That is using secure protocol, that is HTTPS, it, it basically send the data. So this is also kind of secured, okay? So we don't need to bother about this stage two, it is basically S3 itself is taking care of. But suppose we are using server side encryption, that means basically some encryption key is used to encrypt the file before writing in hard disk. Now to retrieve back the data from the hard disk, again first decryption will happen and then only it will be sending to that client, right? Now I have already shown you that you can decide who can have this particular read access, okay? That is S3 read permission you can give to certain user. Not only that, if you are suppose using server side encryption, then you have to give the permission to use this key also to that user. Then only the user will be able to read the file otherwise it will simply show access denied okay so now let's see how we can do the same in snowflake okay so first i will go to aws management console i will go to s3 and then here i will go to create bucket and then here i will give demo kms server or ssc let me write server side encryption okay us is to let it let it be and then here I am creating the bucket. Okay. So see the bucket is created. All right. This is the step one. And in step two, what we are going to do? We are going to basically create in AWS only a KMS customer managed key. Okay. So customer managed key will be going. And then here create key. Here I will go to next KMS demo. This is okay. Go to next. Next for the timing, I am not giving permission to anyone, and I will simply finish this. Let's create the key. Okay, so this is enabled right now. As a next step, what we will do, we will first create one user. Okay, so both this experiment or POC can be done in both ways. Either you can go with some IAM role. Like I have discussed how to you create a snowflake IAM role and all. Or else what you can do, you can simply create uh, AWS access key and secret key and use that directly. Okay, both way possible. No problem. User I can give demo hello world uh, SSE. Okay. And programmatic access I want to give. I will go to next permission. Attach existing policy. I want to give S3 full access for the timing. Only S3 access I am giving, no KMS access. Then I will create the user. Okay, right. And here it will be generating the uh, key value pair for us. So here I click on show. So this is the key. Now what I will do? I will take some code from here. I will be going to software and I will paste that. Okay. So what is the first step? 
drop database if exists Ramu. We are dropping the database, we are creating the database, and we are using the database. That's it, okay. Then here we are creating a table JSON testing with array, and only one column we are taking, which is having variant data type. Okay, that is basically we are trying to implement schema on read kind of functionality, which I already covered in my previous video as well. You can check the description. Okay, then here let me show you our JSON data which you, which you are going to upload. If you see this JSON data, here these are basically nothing but individual row or individual array element. Outside thing is covered by one array, right? So that's why what we are telling here that strip outer array equal to true while creating the file format, right? And let's create that. And then here, what we need to do, we need to give the stage name here create or replace stage txt json stage array url so here i will be going to this place and this is our basically bucket i'll be copying this particular name i'll paste that here access key and secret key for that i'll be going here i'll be copying the access key and here i'll be pasting and secret key also i'll be going no need to worry i'll be deleting this once that experiment is done so better you use iam role based policies and then here we are using json format array as file format okay and then we are creating this external stage see created okay then here if we do list obviously we will be getting no data because currently here this particular bucket is empty all i will do i will add the files and then here i'll be choosing the array json file okay and then here let's click on upload right so it is successfully uploaded without any server side encryption we have uploaded this so now what we can do if we execute list command again we will be seeing perfectly the file is coming then we can execute copy into command this is kind of internal table we are going to create so save in rows loaded and errors in zero perfect okay now if we execute see let's start from this table we will be able to see that okay these are the save in records perfectly getting ingested now what we will do we will try to upload a file with server side encryption and we will see that how copy command works okay so we will upload another same kind of structure file enc let me show you that so if i click on enc same kind of file just the elements are little bit different okay so here i will be going enc and i will click on open and all i will do in the property section i will be going here and specify an encryption key see server side encryption so i will be choosing the kms key from my uh, from my this place okay so i will go here i will be copying this here in and then here i will be this okay not create key exactly okay let me choose from here only so this is basically KMS demo. What is our this file name? KMS demo SES. Okay, so see KMS demo SES is this particular one. I'll be choosing that, and then here, what I will do? I will click on upload. So this file, what we are going to upload is basically server side encrypted now. Okay, ENC dot JSON. Now what we will do? We will try to execute copy command, and we will see what is happening. Okay, so let's execute copy command and see. Fail to access remote file, access denied. Please check your credentials. Why it is coming? Because we have done server side encryption, but we have not given the permission to use this particular key to that user using which we are creating this snowflake external stage. Okay, so now we'll do that step. So, what we'll do, we'll go to KMS and then here we'll be going to key users. I will add that the User, what we created is demo hello world SSE. I'll be searching here, I'll be choosing this, I'll add that. Okay, so apart from root user, this particular user will also be able to use this particular KMS key. That should happen, right? Then, what we will do, we cannot simply execute copy into command. Okay, because when you created external stage, we have not mentioned you have to use the KMS key because it is it might be possible that the file is server side encrypted okay so for that here this is the syntax in snowflake okay so what is that see create or replace stage stage name url access key secret key same thing file format you can specify your file format 
last thing you have to pass this key value pair also that is encryption type AWS SSC KMS. What is that? AWS Amazon Web Service SSC server side encryption KMS is we are using KMS for server side encryption and the KMS key ID we have to pass. Okay, so we have to recreate this stage. All I will do is go here, I will paste that, and then here we will upload KMS key ID. Okay, so what is the KMS key ID? KMS key ID for our case is basically nothing but this one, right? So we'll be choosing that particular one. And we'll be testing that here. Okay. Right. So now we will create execute create or replace this stage once. So once that is done, now we can execute copy into command and see save in rows got loaded. You will see that tnc.json. That is just now what file we uploaded as server side encryption that is working. Okay. So now if I execute select start from JSON testing with array, it will simply show me. 14 records because first uh, JSON has 7 records, next JSON has 7 records. So, all you need to remember while creating this stage, you have to specify this particular parameter, and for that, you can refer the documentation also AWS data file encryption. Okay, so see, Snowflake support either client side encryption or server side encryption, either can be configured to decrypt the file staged in S3 bucket. Okay, so server side encryption is AWS SSC S3. Require no additional encryption key, but here if you are using KMS, then accept one optional KMS key ID value. And using AWS KMS to manage keys required to configure an IAM policy. Like we updated for user, same like that will have to update. That's it. Okay. If the file we are uploading as server side encrypted, then only it will be basically using this KMS. And if you are uploading file simply without basically doing server side encryption, then it will not use this particular key. Like I can show you one more demo. What I will do, I will be copying this particular file and I will uh, in new window, I will create a new file. That this many elements I don't want to give. What I want, color is basically I can give A, B, C, D. E F E F G H. Okay, just this is the name we are giving a simple one element file, and then here I can give the file name as basically demo second time dot json. Okay, so basically when you are mentioning this particular KMS key ID, it is not necessary that all files you are basically uploading are with server side encryption, right? If you if the file is encrypted, then it will use that KMS key, otherwise it will not. That's simple concept. So see demo second time we are uploading. Now we are not doing any server side encryption. Although our stage in our stage we specified that. Now if I go to this and execute copy into command, then only one file will be loaded. See demo second time and only row loaded one error since zero. Okay, now if I execute select style, we should be getting 15 records because earlier 14 was there. The last record is A B C D E F G H and value is this one. So just remember this particular parameter that if in your external stage some files you are uploading with server side encryption, then don't forget to use this kind of thing. And in the Snowflake policy, either you are using role based authentication or user or you are using key secret key based authentication, there that particular role should have the access of usage permission to that KMS key. Okay, then only it will use that to decrypt in the server side, right? So all these codes I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section along with the data. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.